Hi, I'm Janice Yasui, subject matter expert for Doppler products at Teledyne Marine. And this is our top five video for why the RDRI River Ray might be your best choice for river discharge monitoring. And we'll start with number five, which is the most obvious one, uh, that this transducer technology is called a phased array. You'll see uh, it's a single integrated flat face transducer. We don't have the four separate transducers that are in other styles, so it doesn't come with the size uh, that those other systems do, and it doesn't come with the weight. It's a very easy to manage, easy to integrate uh, package. And you'll notice also that the flat face, not only is it smaller, but it um, allows for less flow disturbance when mounted in the boat and being um, tethered or towed. Uh, number four uh, is that in addition to the fundamental velocity sensor that the River Ray has, it's very flexible in integrating external sensors. So for example, if you have um, deeper or more sediment laden conditions, even though the River Ray has a vertical beam, you can integrate your own echo sounder. Um, quite often a lower frequency echo sounder. Uh, maybe you're using it from a manned boat, already have an echo sounder. The River Ray uh, Wind River 2 software allows us to do that. Similarly, if you have a heading sensor you want to integrate, yet your boat is ferrous or you're, you're operating near engines, uh, the it, instrument's compass might get thrown off if you have your own heading sensor, gives you the flexibility uh, to feed that in. Uh, point number three is related to that, the RDI River Ray was uh, designed to uh, accommodate external GPS options. So if you have your own GPS, uh, maybe it's already on the boat, uh, you can easily integrate that into the system. Of course, we have, um, we, we have GPS options too and multiple adapter cables uh, for different GPS models to help out with that. Uh, and, uh, even if adapter cables or whatnot uh, aren't available, uh, Wind River 2, the software, allows us to integrate any GPS signal um, as the data are being collected. All right, number two is the frequency that the RDI River Ray uses is a 600 kilohertz frequency. Uh, it's an all-purpose frequency, if you will, and a friend of mine even likes to call it the 4x4 four four truck of Doppler instruments because it really can handle everything from shallow like 40 centimeters to deep 60 meters. Um, that's a pretty wide range uh, and uh, not only does the 600 kilohertz, it's kind of a lower frequency for, for river monitoring, uh, so not only does it water profile well even in sediment laden conditions, but it's a good strong signal that gets all the way to the bottom and gets a good strong return off the bottom. So bottom tracking is very robust. Even if we have um, currents and moving sediment on the bottom that higher frequencies sometimes can't handle quite as well, the 600 kilohertz frequency is really um, all purpose in that way and can handle a range of sites, a range of conditions, shallow to deep, and so on. And uh, point number one is that related to the frequency, uh, we have auto-adaptive algorithms to process this signal intelligently. So, of course, we can go from shallow to deep automatically without the user having to program what the best resolution um, might be. And not only that, but there are things like um, a surface tracking um, layer that allows us higher frequency, or excuse me, higher resolution cells near the surface, even if we're in deeper water. So that perhaps faster moving water at the surface uh, can still be captured adequately. So intelligent algorithms combined with the 600 kilohertz frequency uh, do make the RDI uh, a very robust instrument. Uh, and with the ability to integrate other sensors, certainly the most flexible river discharge monitoring ADCP out there. All right, that's it. That's our top five. Of course, many uh, factors go into your uh, particular site needs. So let us know if you have more questions. Thanks for watching. Teledyne Marine. Everywhere you look.